Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Repro Products. Today's video is on the new features in 2026 AutoCAD, specifically markup import and markup assist functionality. Here I am in AutoCAD 2026. I have a few files open. I have one for markup import and markup assist, and then I have one from the docs functionality aspect, which is new. So starting with the first file, uh, we have the ability to import any markups that you have, whether they are PDF or image files. And to do this, you head over to the Collaborate tab of the ribbon. Head over to your Traces panel and click Markup Import. When you do this, a dialog box will open up and ask you to find your file. Head over to your local drive. Find the file that you need. In this case for me, I have it under a markups folder and it's a PDF. Again, you can bring in a PDF or you can bring in an image. Uh, you also, if you go down here in the files of type, you can see it says PDF, JPEG, JPG, and PNG. So once I click open, your screen will show a blue border and it'll say uh, importing markup and it'll show you as either a trace or a drawing. So it initially puts you in the trace function because it treats it like a trace. Um, and trace is something similar to say when you were back in design school and you had trash paper, uh, bum wad, and you ripped a piece and you put it on top of your drawing and you hand traced a new design on top of it or you marked it up. And then you ripped another sheet of trash paper and put it on top of that and kept doing this just so you had like multiple iterations of how to draw content. Well this functionality kind of treats it the same way when you're dealing with traces. So when you click, when you start the import markup functionality, uh, it's going to come in as a trace. So you can see how it looks. If you click a drawing right here, it will switch to drawing function and it will let you see what it can see and it's starting to analyze your markups. And so wherever you see these blue dashed boxes, it's to let you know it's found stuff. And so you have to do something with it. So for example, I'll come over here, and if I hover over the blue dash box, it'll tell you that it identified some text. There's a little tooltip pop up. So if I left click it, you'll see the markup assist function comes online. And you can either insert as an M leader insert as M text, uh, update existing text. So um, depending on what you choose, you'll have different functions. So I'm going to click insert as M text and it will ask me to insert, specify the insertion point. So I'll just click say over here. And if you have to, you'll have to zoom in a little bit and it'll be really, really small at the beginning. So once that's done, you can make the mtext dialog box larger if you have to and if you uh, double click and you're inside the text editor you'll get the text editor contextual tab and then you can make whatever changes that you want so for example maybe the font is so tiny right so let's make it say um, two inches and see if that updates if it doesn't you may have to adjust it outside of this uh, markups import dialog function okay this is one of the little things that I've noticed with this uh, markup import assist function. So let's move on to some of the other areas that it found. So for example here, if I select this, it says, hey, rectangular Revit cloud. So I'm going to click this one and it'll put it in as a revision cloud. See? So depending on what it sees as a markup, it'll give you different functionality to place it into the drawing. So when you're finished and you hit this little X right here to get out of the markup assist, this is what you're left with. And as you can see here with the M text that we put in, it came in really, really small. See? And so you'll have to scale it up to make it look a little easier to read. And obviously you'll have to make adjustments to the design of that piece of text. For example, the font. So I'm not sure why it chose TXT as the default font. I guess that's just what it can uh, decipher. 
So if you were to switch it to something else, say for example, something everybody has, like Arial, then uh, it'll be easier for them to read because not everybody has the same fonts on their computers. So that's Markup Import and Markup Assist from the local standpoint. In 2026, they have updated this functionality to allow you to grab your markups from Autodesk Docs. So what is Autodesk Docs? Autodesk Docs is your online hub for your company for your Autodesk account data. It's your central repository of where you put all of your content. So if you head over to acc.autodesk.com, it will take you to that home page. And in here, you'll see all of the projects that you have created and the files and folders for each of those projects that you've created. Um, you do have the ability to filter by account as well if you have access to more than one company's hub. And so you'll see here is a list of all the, dif the different cloud-based projects that you may be working in. And so I'm going to jump into our 2026 ACC demo projects that I've created. And this is where I actually have stored all of my AutoCAD files and eventually all of my Revit and demo files too. So here under AutoCAD collaboration files, all the files that you've seen me work on videos and presentations and stuff, they're all stored here. See? And then I now have a separate folder for markups to place my PDF markup here. So with the markup assist functionality with Autodesk Stocks, you can go through the exact same command, markup this import command. It kicks out, kicks in, and all you have to do is go to Autodesk Stocks, go to your hub, go to the project that you're working in, go to the folder that you have your data, and find your markup. So once you find your markup, all you have to do is click open, and it goes through the exact same functionality as I showed earlier in the beginning of the video. It brings the markup in, and then you can go ahead and do all of the various functions that we talked about earlier. So you have your traces, you have your drawing, and then again, you can see all of the content as well. So another function that the Markup Assist tool does in 2026 that's new is it allows you to import the markups from Autodesk Docs um, and the way it works is as follows. You'll head over to your Autodesk Docs uh, section where you have your project, you have your folder, you have your subfolders, and you have the actual PDF markup. When I go to click the PDF markup it'll open up in the Universal Viewer and you'll see you'll have a mixture of uh, red lines that you might have done via hand on the PDF file, but the ones that you see here that are vector-based looking markups, these are coming from the actual markup tools here in the vertical column for the online Autodesk Docs viewer functionality. You can actually take these markups and bring them into the AutoCAD environment for that file. So to do that, what you'll do is you click the three little dots here, you click Sync Markups to AutoCAD, You'll select who you wish to send the markups to. Specify any kind of notes that you need. And then click Send. What will happen is that an email notification with a link will go to all of those users. Once that comes in, you'll head over to your email. And if I open up my email, you can see that that email has come in. I can click Import and Connect Markups to AutoCAD. Click this it will force your browser to open up AutoCAD and then it'll ask you if it has any markups or not. So in this case the import markup dialog box comes up and it says this markup doesn't have an associated drawing. Select a drawing from files or select a layout from a drawing that's already open. 
So in this case, I'm going to uh, select the layout from the drawing that's already open. And then it'll say open the drawing and layouts that are associated with this markup. Once the correct layout is shown, click the link below and we'll bring it in. Give it some time. Your import markup dialog box will come up. And as you can see, the markups come in just like before. They come in either as a trace or if you click drawing, it switches you to drawing functionality and you can see all of your docs markups coming in. Here you'll see all the different blue dash boxes showing that it found that data. And again, you can select what you wish and then specify what you wanted to do. For example, erase command will allow us to erase geometry that we know we don't need. Say, for example, the doors. We can also click other boxes and again, choose what we wish to do. We can head over to say this one right here and it allows us to put in a revision cloud see and then hit the x when you're done and everything goes back to regular drawing mode so as you can see the markers import and assist functionality from docs now not just handles doing the standard importing your markup of a pdf or jpeg file from a local drive but it also allows it to bring it in from your autodesk docs location and it allows you to take any red line markers that you've created on the Autodesk Doc Universal Viewer platform to bring into your drawing as a markup as well. Thank you very much for watching.